it's not fair. Let's play football. I'm going to wear a helmet and pads and you're not going to get to do that. Let's go. That's, that's what's happening. And I get like the whole name thing and redacting and blah, 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 blah. You know what? Your information is everywhere. And the people who you want it to have at least have it all. Why do they have it? No, <clears throat> they have proven that they can't be trusted time and time again. How many times you see dash cams and they don't want to give those up in their body cams. They don't want to give them up unless it benefits them. Why is that even being regulated by you? Why are you the ones in control of it? It should be to an offsite, third party, independent of you, which again, it doesn't even matter then because they're going to have a contract and then they're going to be sleeping with each other the same way they do now with the public defenders and how they contract with their other, you know, attorney's offices or whatever. It doesn't matter. People need to be able to keep their own records. Well, I, I have noticed that many times if a dash cam shows something that is in favor for the officer, the record's there. Oh. If it's, if it, if it's disfavorable to the officer, the camera malfunctioned. Yeah, oh, we forgot to turn it on, or we're not going to give it up. I mean, these people who whose kids have been murdered three years ago, their dash cams are just coming out because it's like they were made to give it up, you know? And that's just, you know, if they uh, don't lie about it and say that they malfunctioned. And uh, I mean, even in the jails, I mean, it's awful. I interviewed, I had an interview with an ex-deputy uh, who, who was a sheriff's department <clears throat> in a different state. Um, he was a deputy in jail and he was a big guy, had the worst of the worst criminals because he, of his size, he was able to, you know, be that guy. He quit after two years. He's like, this is some BS. They started to ostracize him, you know, kind of like a donor type thing. And he was like, get me out of here. So they just weed the good ones out. And a lot of them go in with good intentions and they get, you know, sucked in and brainwashed. They shouldn't be paid as much as they're being paid. They want it to be um, attractive to people who wouldn't otherwise be paid that amount of money. To, you know, they, they will. These IQs will not get a job getting paid that much anywhere else. But here's six months of training. You get paid a shit ton of money, and uh, here's your gun. Here, doctor. Yeah. Here's a scalpel. You've had training for six months. Dig in. You know, it, it's interesting. It seems that many times. Uh, the cop watchers and the auditors seem to know, at, at, at least within that, within the specific realm of, of what the cop watchers do and the auditors do, they always tend to seem to know more than the police, especially areas that have auditors or have uh, cop watchers. Like you would think in your area, they would go out of their way to properly train them because they know that they're going to have to come in contact with either you or Laura Shark or Tom Zebra or Poetic. And it just seems that the, the, the new officers that come out, the new deputies that come out, seem to know less than the ones that you've been dealing with. I have a, I have a theory on that. It's because there aren't enough people doing what we do so the odds of them running into us and the odds of them running into the rest of the people who aren't going to stand up to them they get a lot more of that and they're willing to take the risk of them pushing their weight on them and getting away with it and they'll just deal with us when they see us in this area they know laura and i and they mind their p's and q's when we're around what they do when we're not around i don't know I don't know if more people are recording, but I doubt it. So when you go out and you see people and you see them interacting with the police uh, and you record them, when you talk with them afterwards, do they sure. generally say that there was an attitude change when you showed up? Yeah, we've had that. Definitely. And usually <clears throat> they'll say too, like, yeah, when you showed up, you know, I saw him look at his partner and say, blah, blah, blah. And then they left, like just within a minute or two afterwards, they're like, okay, you know, there's a warning and let them off. Or, you know, if they're on the curb, all of a sudden they're back in their car and they're on their way. So would you say then that the naysayers are what I like to refer to as bootlickers who uh, tend to troll the, uh, the pages and um, 
make their negative comments about that we're not doing anything or that you're not doing anything, it doesn't make a difference, who cares? Would you say that, that, that that's just not true? Yeah, I mean, you'll get my snitch and ditch video. If you remember the night, the, the night in San Pedro when the sheriffs were looking for the backpack, yeah. do, you, do, you, do you think that had you not been recording that them searching that truck, do you think the deputy would have been as concerned about don't search, don't search, don't search? No. Sheriffs, they don't have uh, body cams or dash cams either. So they're, it is your word against theirs because if you're not recording, there's no record of it. And if you're not live streaming, they could get rid of your your uh, footage or whatever, and they love e unless you can get a recovery software program or you know, and if it saves properly and all that. I mean, but why risk it? Live stream it, you know, because they they have no accountability. They would prove it. And people tend to side with them as I mean, I don't understand how because there's so much evidence uh, to the contrary, but. People think what they think. So, would you you would you would recommend and, and encourage people in any contact they, they have with any law enforcement, no matter how friendly or how consensual it is, to always record? I've had people say, if I would have taken out my camera, um, it would have gone bad or whatever. And I'm just like, your camera should have been on before he even got to your window. I mean, like as soon as I see one, I'm like reaching for my phone to get it ready to turn on so in case i get pulled over by the time he gets out of his car my button is on and ready to go there is no way and i'm not going to be reaching in my back seat while he's starting to walk up thinking i'm looking for a gun my phone is there and ready or my camera either one ready before he even puts on has a chance to put on lights if i see you driving down the street you might you turn uh it's always there always do you have a, a preference on your live stream program i use bamboozer Use bamboo user. Mm -hmm. It seems to be most common among co uh, cop watchers. Of course, you know, as 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 an auditor, you know they've had a couple minutes to uh, form a plan of attack against you. It's a little different than than cop watching out on the street because you get much more of the raw. You know, you're walking up before they see you. It's raw, and they see you. They still have to get that moment to adjust. Right. Exactly. So it's, it's, it's a little different animal. It's different. It's just the tactic is different. Like you're going and you're approaching them versus catching them doing their, what they're already doing. Anyways, they may or may not see you and you could be standing there for a good few minutes before they even know that you're there. It just depends on, you know, the scenario, but the best way to do it is so they don't know that you're watching them because once they see you, especially if they know you, you know, better if they don't see you because that's how you're going to catch them in, in dirt. That's why when we went to go do the audit and uh, the LAPD station, that's why I was like, okay, I'm going to hang back because you're an unfamiliar face, you guys. And if they were to know that it was me, if they saw the security cameras, chances are the response wouldn't have been the same. I think something to expect when you're new is you're going to get told, you're going to get pushed back and you're, you're going to get challenged. And, you know, if you have cop watchers in your area, I suggest messaging them and saying, hey, I'm in this area. If you're ever around, please, I want to start to do this, too. So that way, you know, you can get your feet wet with somebody who's experienced and be comfortable enough and, you know, get some of your friends and just start teaching them how to do it. There should be 30 people recording at every stop for how many years they're, they have killed thousands of people. How many years in a row? Why aren't people getting out of their car and friggin' recording? And until all that pressure is on, you're gonna be sitting your ass on the curb. You are, because it's not enough to, it's just like, oh, Laura and Foxy are here. Okay, whatever. All the other officers around the city, they're getting away with whatever while we got them, you know, busy over here. We can't be everywhere, <laughs> you know? as long as you have it pointed at them and they feel the I don't trust you in your camera pointing at them the more that's out there the more they're gonna be like dang it's everywhere it's everywhere but they don't feel that like oh they're here again okay well maybe we'll ditch them on the next one you know what I mean and they're not gonna be out all night long so <laughs>
you know, it's not enough. Now, I, I noticed in some of your videos, they spotlight you or try to blind your camera. Yeah, um, sometimes those are the new ones. Um, a few of them have this big chip on their shoulder where they, are, they can't grow up and, you know, suck it up and realize that, hey, if you don't act like that, then the video is going to be really boring. I know that LAPD actually has a policy against that, correct? Do you think they care? They don't care about their own rules, so. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I mean, the ones with the identifying themselves, too, they're like, like, I can see that far away. You know? Well, yeah, I mean, I remember on an audit I had recently where the officer was four feet in front of me, and I couldn't read his badge number. Just say it. Just say your name. Say it. While you're blabbing to me and barking orders or whatever, you, the other crap coming out of your pie hole, just say your name. You don't need to come over. You know, a lot I of get, you know. It in their pocket too, and it's pointing upward. Oh, they have it like they 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 put their body at that angle, so all you see is the glare. Yeah, but there's always something in that pocket with the name tag. So the 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 top of the pocket, the flat part of it, is uh, angled upward. So it's not even like it's flat where you can look at it straight. It's like pointed up. <laughs> yeah probably on purpose <laughs> well i'm sure i'm sure it's just an, an, an another tactic to attempt to remain uh, yeah. anonymous yeah exactly it's right here <laughs> i think I, I i agree with with what you've said you know we need people to pick up their cell phones or pick up a camera you know you don't have to go spend the money that that, that some of us did on on a you know three or four hundred dollars on a camera yeah you can go buy you know just Pull out your cell phone. The cell phone camera is actually pretty good. Yeah, they're not. Um, just make sure that you know you put it horizontal, not vertical. <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> vertical, <laughs> vertical video. <laughs> you are in a 7 Eleven parking lot, and across the street, you know, there's somebody stopped. Sit in your car and do it. Stand, stand on the sidewalk by the 7 Eleven across the street. It doesn't, you don't have to be up on them either. Just point your camera. They need to now, follow the pressure. Now, what, what are some basic things that people should know or you think they should know when they're filming the police? If the cop talks to you and you're not comfortable talking to police, shut up. You don't have to say anything. You are not obligated to talk to anybody in this world. Okay. And if they say move back, ask them, where do you want me to stand? Make them tell you and when they tell you if it's unreasonable just say i can't see from there or i can't or won't be able to hear from there and that defeats the purpose of me documenting this interaction um and if they want your phone or they want you to turn off your phone if they want you to delete the footage um say no thank you i'm just documenting you know for everybody's accountability it's not just theirs necessarily because you know there are those out there that are you know unruly too who you know it might protect the officer you know you never know it's just a it's just a objective record of what's happening it could benefit you you know i've had cops tell me oh can you send me this footage can you email me your video uh, but people should familiarize themselves with the laws in their area before they before they go out because there are some I, I believe there are some areas where where it's Although the courts have ruled that it's okay, but there's some areas where there's gray laws or things that, you know, where they can, they can twist you up. Right, right. The police have no expectation of privacy while you're recording them in a public place while they're conducting their duties. And in, in most places, they, they, they cannot turn your camera off. Is that, that that's correct, right? I mean, right. pre-arrest. Even, even if you're... Um, being if you're recording your own traffic stop and they want to take you out of the car um, they have to at least keep it running they'll they can set it on top of your car or on the ground or wherever they're you know under their shoe <laughs> but they have to keep it running um they're probably going to try and turn it off and they might just turn it off but you should express you know audibly that you are instructing them to leave it running but what they do is whatever they want to do because they do what they want to do i mean they, yeah the prosecutor will get them off or they'll their union will hook them up or whatever they i mean they always find a way out they kill people you think they care about turning off your camera 
Well, I have one, but it says uh, badges don't match your rights. But <laughs> well, yours is is actually stating truth. <laughs> it's stating and the it truth. It doesn't for you either. It doesn't work for you either. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So, is there, is, there, is there anything else you that, that you'd like to talk about? No. Um, just I would just suggest getting in touch with the cop watcher around you because they can also take you under the wing and any questions you might have, any variables in situations and stuff like that. It's better to be with somebody experienced. But if you see a traffic stop, it doesn't matter. Stop anyways, it doesn't matter. And if you feel like you're being threatened or whatever, then back up a little bit. But don't retreat, don't leave, don't punk out. Stand your ground, back up, sure. Com you know, give a little bit if you're really like not in that you know, place where you're like, uh, okay, give a little bit, but don't retreat all the way because then they win. And what did you accomplish? Nothing. They're just like, oh, I can tell this next one. Just pound sand. No. So people have to stand up. Grow a pair. <laughs> all right. Thanks, Foxy. All right. Thank you.